this is Got to the Fish, and I'm going to be talking about my open bottom tank slash tower tank. I call it the tower. So basically, if you want to build one of these, please never use these items. Plastic, Velcro, suction cups, nothing like that. Don't use a plastic water bottle. They will crack fairly easily and really easily. And you will get water. Go gushing out onto your floor, and you'll get water damage. Um, and suction cups and Velcro won't hold it up, neither will plastic. It's, it's a super water, it's super pressurized, pulling down on the vase, so it won't hold it. Um, I would not recommend building one of these yourself unless you're an experienced aquarium builder and you know what glue and stuff will hold. It is mega expensive to cut glass. Um, if you want to put a vase in a piece of glass, it, again, it's mega expensive to cut glass. I recommend doing what I did. Because I don't know of any other way. But there are some people that have some really small bowls that they use the bowl. They have three smaller candle glass things that they put there under the vase. And then they have the vase on top of it and it works. But for bigger tanks like this. Okay, so here goes. Vase. Cylinder. Ta-da. Um, I have one fourth inch metal rod in here. Um, I bent it myself. It came in a straight thing, but it was extremely hard to bend. I had to use hammers and stuff. But it comes over the edge, in towards the vase, down under the vase, up the other side of the vase, over, and down. And the exact same thing on the other side. And there's two of them to hold it up. And so over the metal, I have this plastic tubing so that it does not rust in the water and so it doesn't scratch the vase um, so make sure that these two sides here the ones that are um, oh, he just jumped on my finger the ones that are um, right next to the vase that they're snug so the vase will not tip over um, make sure that these are snug so that it doesn't move and then I just use a rubber band here to keep them in towards the vase. And you can see under here how it holds it up. It's just in a little bit. But there's enough room for the fish to swim up. Um, so that's how I built mine. Now you know my secret. Um, again, never use plastic. Never use Velcro. Never use suction cups. Never use anything of that sort to hold this up. Um, metal. Wood. Metal is best because wood floats. The metal, like this, is the best thing I found, and it's the cheapest. This whole setup, um, including the vase, is under $10. Better had the vase. So, there it goes. Um, so, I already had the vase, so only these two things here, they cost less than $5. And I will be doing another video on how I fill up the vase and everything like that. Um, so that's basically it. Please don't do those do nots that I told you. Uh, use a vase. Um, again, this whole thing costs under $10 if you buy the vase. If you already have it, it costs less than $5. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments. I will answer um, the best I can. I have done a ton of research, so I know what you can and cannot do. Um, so ask any questions in the comments. Please like, subscribe, and let me know the videos you like to see. Bye.